it's rainbow Ooh, it's a little bit chilly in the old landing hello everybody in the world that is watching my oh. ah, what the fuck? <laughs> if you're looking at my outfit today and you're thinking why are all these colors in this outfit all together i've got red orange green pink yellow lilac okay guys it's um, it's just it's just what i felt like wearing when i woke up I woke up and i thought color but don't worry everything else is looking very beige it's looking like white beige jumper beige trousers beige bag like once the, all, the whole outfit is pictured together it's a vibe some really exciting plans today uh and for tomorrow but we'll focus on today in the present moment today i am traveling down to london which i have three and a half hours on the clock um, because I've been invited to a makeup launch event in the Glam Palace in Middlesex. We are currently at Nutsford Cell. Cyril needed the toilet, so I've been sat here for half an hour. This mozzarella dip isn't really doing it for me, I'm not going to lie. Kind of hoping it, Cyril uses his noggin. And when he's walking back out of the service station, he sees like pasta or something. And gets me a frack. Oh my gosh, he got the memo. I didn't even have to tell him. Oh my gosh, thank you. Oh my gosh, I wonder what he got me to eat. <laughs> Babe, I was literally just saying to the vlog, I wonder if Cyril will like walk past Costa and be like, oh, I'll get Alex something to eat. But I wasn't expecting you to. Quiet, Margaret, when I'm speaking. A latte. With the most yeah, it's a latte. Scent. I've never heard of a latte before. Do I, do I drink latte? You're You bought that for yourself and just and just masked it that it's for the fact that it's for me. And guys, just like that, in the power of movie editing, we are here in London. Specifically, we are in... We are in... Wood Green. Looks like. Yay, what's it say? Welcome! Yay, I feel so welcome! It's Rainbow! This is where we be staying for the few... Well, we're literally just here for one night, guys. Manual labour. Now, I introduce you to the room 226. Bathroom. This is the first impression from me too. It's looking quite cute, in it? And this is the bath. I'm so excited to have a bath. I haven't had a bath in about a year. Obviously had like a shower though. A huge TV, might be stealing that. We have a mirror and another mirror. Might be stealing those. We have a really nice lamp. Really might be stealing that. Any dressing gowns? No dressing gown. Didn't I tell you that my outfit was gonna look good when all of like the cream pieces brought everything together? Oh, it's a little bit chilly in the old landing. This is what I think of when I think London. You have like all different types of shops. I don't know what that one is at the end there, but that one's African. This one, they have like all different types of, what do you call it? Different cultures of food are massive, massive roads. So obviously you have those elsewhere too. Like we have one in Chester where we live, but it's just massive. Exhibit A, this road goes literally all the way down, just full of like different food shops, goes down there, goes up there, and then it goes this way, which is like a whole friggin' high street, but just on, just like a casual little main road to your local council estate. But these like beautiful, like <laughs> cultured be places <laughs> to get food and you're like, KFC. This is very good advertisement. Are we being advertised? Two. Do you fancy pizza? Let's have a little fast first. And a matter of fact, we that didn't get so roti. That looks amazing, but it's not. Us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna walk you through what I got right now. This is mac and cheese. I thought this was gonna be like a mac and cheese pasta. Mac and cheese bites. Mac and cheese bites. These are jalapeno flavors. On truffle fries, what did you get? I've got Brazilian bites, well, that is chicken and vegetable gyoza, ah. and then chicken. That 
that's nice. Faith. Good. <laughs> Try the mac and cheese wine. That's what I'm the most excited for. Out of 10, I would recommend that place, probably like 11. The food, guys, was incredible. I don't know why I'm giving like a food review right now, as if I'm like some food reviewer, but yeah, the food's really nice. But the lady was so cute and we tried to tip her. She was like, no, don't give me a tip. Like, your conversation has been so nice that I feel like I've already had a tip. And we were like, ah, it's so cute. Guys, I was going to do a transition, but I'm running late, so I can't do it for you. But I, I think you get the fish, and I would have been like, just, 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 and then I would have been ready. But here's the outfit, guys. Cyril is waiting outside to drop me off. I am so friggin' nervous right now. Like, nervous is the under, understatement of the year. I'm doing so much stuff that makes me nervous recently. And like, sometimes I'm like, am I doing it? It's like, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> sometimes I'm like, is it even worth it? <laughs> I'm so nervous to walk out of the hotel. Okay, we can do it, we can do it. I made it out of the reception alive after that little panic attack that I was having in there. And I was actually walking through the reception and like, I thought I'm just gonna like quietly just go through the reception, like make sure that nobody notices me. Guys, fucking everyone was staring at me. These heels are so loud. Click, clack, click, back, click, back. Across the floor. And it was just so silent, you could hear a pin drop in there. And I was thinking, oh my God, are these heels just shut up? And then like, I literally felt my eyes watering up as if I was going to cry. And then I walked up the hotel and there was this lady there and she was like, you look so good. And I was like, yeah, thank you. I've only ever seen Camden Town on the fucking news. That is mad, we're in Camden Town. Is this what Camden Town looks like? Whoa. I literally thought that that pub had closed down until I looked inside and saw this light sign and there's people drinking. Oh my gosh, it literally looks, it doesn't even have a sign on it telling you what kind of pub it is. Driving down like some of the most dodgy little back alleys of London right now. I'm like, I don't want to get out of the car. There's just like pubs. That's it. There's like men at work. I can't do this. Update guys, I'm still alive, it's going well. I'm gonna get some clips for you and I'm gonna insert them and if I do pick up the courage to um, start recording I will. Guys, this is such a nice <laughs> And she's gonna watch it. She just picked me up from the event, guys, and I'll update you on how the event went a little bit later. But we're gonna go on a little bit of a tour around London in the car. Guys, we're gonna show you the London Bridge, aren't we, Cyril? Nice pink. 
because I knew that I was going to come here and have a little look at it, that's why. Yes, London Eye. Shine bright like a pink diamond. Obviously, you see the big, massive London Eye right here, which is bright pink. The blue thing that you see there, the blue lights, which has just been covered up by this massive bridge, that is where the countdown for... Oh, turn you around for this bit, because, oh no, turn you back around. That is where the countdown for the new year happens in London. So this is where everyone would be queuing up to see it. And this is where I was actually jealous of last year, because I said to Saul that we could, we could come, I wish we could come see it. Um, but now that I see it in person, I'm like, would be a little bit underwhelming. Big Ben! There it is! Guys, the shoes have had to come off and I'm walking barefoot for Camden Town, is it? But, oh, the hat is looking a bit popish. That's the only thing I hate about this leather beret is that my fabric one doesn't stand up like that. But whenever I leave this one to its own devices, it just starts to stick up when I look like the Pope. Oh my gosh guys i literally i literally look like i've just like woke up from the apocalypse and i'm about to burst into someone's house as a zombie and like attack sean of the dead big massive bag of goodies from this real techniques event which i just feel like i need to share with you guys because like you guys are the reason that i'm getting invited to these freaking events and i just want to keep you in the loop of what's happening at them so yeah the launch for this one is the miracle two in one powder puff and it has like a powder puff on one side and then a beauty sponge on the other which is just so cool um so you have like two little leaflets here just explaining that and then when you actually walked into the vent there was this big spinny wheel thing and then like you had to spin the wheel whatever it landed on you won so i won this little eye set it has like literally every single eye brush you could ever need and i swear i had this when i was in high school but obviously brushes don't last forever and yeah so it's nice to have like a new one next thing that you had to do was like a vending machine which i'm sure you guys saw like vlog footage earlier on because i took some i actually managed to vlog in there and um, i was with such a nice group of people that made me feel so comfortable that i just yeah i ended up vlogging which is so crazy because whenever i go to events or I am public spaces by myself. Yeah, I got this from the little, you had to do this claw thing. Um, yeah, I got this, it's like a little mini set, which is actually really cute and really handy for travel. This is actually the two-in-one miracle uh, beauty puff. So one side, as you can see that is the puff, which you can use for powder. And the other side is like the iconic Real Techniques um, makeup sponge, which I have a personalised one in here, I think. That is what it looks like. On one side, it's pink and fluffy, and that's like the powder puff side. And then this side is the foundation side, and it has my name on it. Gave me a whole of drink, which I'm going to save to drink until tomorrow or in the night if I get thirsty, because there's no water in this hotel. I don't know if Real Techniques did a collab with Unicorn Cosmetics. Is it Unicorn? Yeah, Unicorn. Uni unicorn Cosmetics. But these are the uh, Unicorn Dreamer lashes. They're the Insta Famous lashes, and they're like these 3D luxury lashes, um, reusable ones, and they're like, uh, are they mink? I have no clue, but they just look so wispy and so nice. And I got two of those, so I'm really excited to try those because I've never tried anything from Unicorn Cosmetics before. There's two things that I got from there was this really cute little journal that has these little birds on it. Um, and it's from the brand Burger, which is really cute. Oh no, there's something else that I got that I haven't shown you. I keep forgetting to put this in. I even forgot to put it in the picture that I took my Instagram. This is like an Unleash Your Creativity like notepad. And I can write all of the video ideas that I have into this book and have them all in one place. So cute. This affirmations journal, so the five minute journal of your day. And then each day you can write in there what you're grateful for, what, what would make the day great, if you could change it. Day affirmation, highlights of the day, and what did you learn today? Because every day you should be learning something new. Always, this is so cute. I'm gonna put it right next to the collection one that I got when I went to the collection event. And now is the last thing that we got. This is a little, a little clip-on ring light from Burger. And it's like, this. I'm going to see if this battery's in it and I'm going to see how bright it is because maybe I could have used it to film this little vlog section right now. That is so bright. Isn't it? Event guys, absolutely amazing. Met some really amazing people. Influencers from all over the world. There was people from Norway there. There was people from 
uh, Germany, Dublin, Spain, Madrid, like people from everywhere. Like it was just such a crazy experience. And I was like literally interrogating them. I was like, what is it like to be gay in Germany? Like, what is the influence in like scene in Dublin? Like what is the influence in scene in Madrid? Should I move there? Because I'm just like such a interrogate and want to know every little detail about people's lives. So guys, I do want to eat my KFC. So I'm gonna leave you to your everyday life. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's vlog. Of course, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And also, if you want to follow me over on my TikTok and my Instagram, please do, because that means I'll be able to get invited to more events. <laughs> That's not the reason I'm doing this, but of course, um, I want to get invited to more. So it's Alex Hollingworth, the next X after Alex on TikTok and on Instagram. Comment down below if you liked today's vlog and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.